endochondral ossification, the young cartilage's journey to becoming a bone. This is Freddie. Right now he is just a cartilage. His owner, Susie, was fertilized five weeks ago. After those five weeks, Freddie was born. Freddie felt a void in his short life. He knew he was meant for so much more, but he didn't know how to get there. Freddie received a call, a call to a journey. Susie sent him a message to become a femur, become what will support her through life. Freddie knew he must help Susie, so he put on his cape of fibrous periosteum and began his journey. Freddie's journey started with his encounter with the osteoblasts. The osteoblasts told Freddie they could help him. Freddie was leery, but he knew he could never help Susie unless he received their help. The osteoblasts told Freddie they could help him become a bone. He accepted their help and the osteoblasts went to work. The osteoblasts deposited a collar of bone. Freddie was moving forward. However, after the osteoblasts were done, Freddie didn't feel right. Yes, Freddie had this new bone, but he still felt incomplete. Blood vessels came rushing in. They wanted his cartilage and brought with them the osteoclasts and osteoblasts whom Freddie thought were his friends. They invaded his cartilage and killed the cells. They sculpted a cavity in his diaphysis. Freddie was defenseless. However, after this was over, Freddie realized that they weren't trying to hurt him, but help him. Freddie gained a medullary cavity, and the osteoblast, who Freddie thought betrayed him, really helped him by calcifying his cartilage, making him stronger than ever. Freddie had experienced primary ossification. As Freddie grew, more blood vessels came, and he welcomed them with open, well, if he had arms, then he would have welcomed them with open arms. The secondary ossification center formed at both of Freddie's epiphyses. They slowly grew towards his diaphysis, making him stronger and stronger. As Freddie matured, a thin layer of cartilage still followed him. This cartilage, the epiphyseal plate, was what helped Susie to grow. Freddie's journey was winding down. His job was to support Susie through her life. He had become a bone, a bone to help Susie stand, walk, run, and just have fun. Freddie was happy. Eventually, the epiphyseal plate slowly went away and became bone. An epiphyseal line formed where the last of Freddie's cartilage had been. Freddie had fully become what he always knew he was meant to be, a femur.